Hi there. Yeah, we've seen several developments, new developments on this just within the past 24 hours. First, it was that potentially damning report by the LA Times, and now we've heard from LAPD Chief Michael Moore as well as LA Mayor Karen Bass, and now we're learning that the FBI is starting to investigate. So this involves officers accused of intentionally not turning on their body cameras during traffic stops. So here's what we know so far. According to the LAPD, this involves at least two officers from the Mission Area Gang Enforcement Detail in the San Fernando Valley. The department received a complaint about a man who was stopped by two officers and that uh, his vehicle was searched without consent before he was later released without incident. The details on what actually happened during that stop are unclear. That complaint triggered an investigation by the Internal Affairs Division and a review determined that the officers had not properly documented the stop or activated their body-worn cameras, which is required. This investigation led to similar undocumented incidents by other members of the division who failed to activate their body cameras. We know that some members of the area's gang enforcement detail have have been placed on administrative leave, but so far we don't know how many. The LA Times also reporting that through their sources that in a rare move last Thursday, investigators searched the lockers of some of the officers included in that search warrant. Now, a short time ago, we spoke to one community advocate who has been at the forefront of social justice and police reform locally. She says this is a step back for the agency that has been working to rectify its reputation from past incidents of misconduct. My belief is that, again, if there's two, there's four, there's eight, there's 16, there are probably a lot more folks in the department who are doing this. Hopefully this investigation will help uncover it. I think what's going to be really important for Chief Moore is that, you know, once these investigations are concluded and if it's found that there has been wrongdoing, that these officers are disciplined and not just given a slap on the wrist. Now, again, officials are not releasing details about what exactly happened during that initial traffic stop. But again, it has led to an investigation with more members of the same gang unit. And now we know that the FBI has started their own investigation. I reached out to the FBI's Los Angeles office and I'm waiting for a response. In the meantime, Chief Michael Moore released this statement saying in part, consequences for any member who would purposely avoid our requirements will be certain and severe. Such misconduct undermines the public's trust and tarnishes the badge of the vast majority of officers who conduct themselves with integrity and reverence for the law. And L.A. Mayor Karen Bass also released his statement saying in part, I have been briefed on this incident and what I've been told is very disturbing. Instances like this can erode confidence and trust in our police department. Under, under my administration, transparency and accountability is required. I'm encouraged by the leadership of LAPD taking an aggressive posture towards this investigation to ensure Angelinos are being served with fairness and integrity. Now back out here live, I did reach out to the L.A. County district attorney and they have confirmed that so far no charges have been filed related to this investigation. Reporting live from LA, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. Tonight, LA Mayor Karen Bass is responding to members of an LAPD gang enforcement unit being placed on administrative leave following an internal affairs investigation. KCount News assignment editor Mike Rogers is live at the desk with what led up to the investigation and Mayor Bass's strong response, Mike. Yeah, Rudabay, the LAPD put this information out today. Quickly following it was Mayor Bass's comments there. Now, what we can tell you is this happened up at the LAPD's mission station. This all came to light earlier this year when a community member, they say, filed a complaint against these officers saying he had his property searched without his consent and without probable cause. Now, LAPD began investigating and found out that the Mission Area Gang Enforcement Detail Officers uh, also did not document the detention of that person or the subsequent search. Now, further investigation, according to the LAPD, revealed that this had happened on a number of occasions with a number of officers. They have placed several of the Gang Enforcement Detail Officers on administrative leave while they investigate this. Part of this also includes them not activating their body cameras when they were conducting some of these stops, which is against department policy. Now, Mayor Karen Bass, as you mentioned, released a statement. We'll show it to you here. It says, part and quote, I have been briefed on the incident and what I've been told is very disturbing. Instances like this and can erode confidence and trust in our police department under my administration. Transparency and accountability is required. As we come back out here to the desk, Mayor Bass says so far she's happy with the direction the investigation is going by Chief Michael Moore. She says she will be kept up to date on it, not only by the LAPD, the California Department of Justice, the FBI, also investigating.